Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help provide context to today's public affairs issues. The United States Customs Service guards all ports of entry so that no goods can be brought into our country illegally. One of our busiest ports of entry is at San Isidro near San Diego, California. As many as 30,000 cars may enter here in a 24-hour period. All 17 lanes of traffic may be full. In order to handle this large number of people, officials from all four U.S. government departments help with the initial inspection. Every car is not searched. However, they are trained to judge people. And while they are polite, they can be very severe when people break the law. The inspectors are from the U.S. Departments of Customs, Immigration, Public Health, and Agriculture. The inspector questions this man and asks to see the trunk of his car. He finds nothing wrong here. Many people cross the border for only a day. These children will visit their grandmother in San Diego. Some men come to San Diego often on business. The officer knows Mr. Odessa well. He's going to San Diego to buy merchandise for his hardware store. Suspicious cars are sent to an inspection area for a more thorough investigation. This man looks questionable. An officer from the U.S. Department of Agriculture checks his papers and questions him. The man hands over a bottle of liquor that was not declared. The law requires that the bottle be confiscated and he pay a fine. The Mexican officials, too, check all people and freight entering their country. Every country has different laws for collecting duty. The Mexican officials work closely with the American officers in their effort to stop smuggling. They are especially anxious to stop the narcotics traffic and to arrest the dope smugglers. Tourists enjoy the picturesque life in Mexico the shops have articles not found in the United States, such as sombreros, leather goods, silver, curious handcrafts. Whether they are going to Mexico for pleasure or business, after they cross the line, they are foreigners. And all their actions are governed by a different set of laws. People who leave this country must be sure they can prove they are Americans when they return across the line. These people have been checked by the U.S. Public Health Service and the immigration authorities and are now ready to go through customs. Since these Americans have been in Mexico only for the day, they have little baggage and the inspection is brief. The Mexican people also like to spend a day in the United States to shop in our stores. Inspector Emery asks Mrs. Damon to open her suitcase. Mrs. Damon seems upset, and the officer goes through her bag carefully. It might contain smuggled goods or illegal money. Ah, just as he expected, he finds valuable coral beads with earrings to match. Amber from French Indochina, and Jade from India. 
Tourists to Mexico are permitted a liberal allowance. However, they must declare their valuables. And if they exceed the limit, they are subject to a fine. Mrs. Damon will pay a fine because she did not declare her purchases. A train is only passing through a corner of Mexico. The officer will seal the cars so they cannot be opened while out of the country. When the train returns, inspection will not be necessary if the seals have not been broken. The United States is bordered by two friendly nations. There are no fortifications on our land borders as there are along the borders of most of the other countries of the world. And so the fine work of the U.S. Customs Service continues as it has for 175 years, playing an important role in the American economy, enforcing the laws of the land. Our country's trade is safe as long as the customs inspectors stand guard night and day at our ports of entry. <laughs>